Hi everyone. Yeah, we're in lockdown, but uh, I managed to get out for a few minutes because I have to go and do something essential. I just wanted to let you know that for the next wee while, my videos will probably be mixed up a little bit. But um, I'm pulling stuff out of the archives and hopefully I can edit stuff a little bit better. Stay tuned. Check out my playlists. Go back in time. You might find something that you like. And uh, let me know. Okay? Let me know in the comments below. Okay. Catch up with you guys in a bit. Well, I'm here in the bush again, wearing my painting clothes this time, because I was doing some painting, and uh, yeah, there's paint all over me. <laughs> anyway, does a tree that fell down in the forest make any noise when it happened? Hmm, not sure, but it's a biggie. It's an old poplar tree. And there's lots of really nice uh, flowers here in the bush that have been transported here by people over the years. We have some periwinkle or myr myrtle or vinca, whatever you want to call it. It's a ground covering. There's daffodils. Some of them have come up already, like over there. And snowdrops. I can't remember what those things are called. Russian... Hmm. Tell me in the comments, I forget what they're called. It's a really weird name. It's kind of sounds derogatory to how pretty they are, actually. <laughs> but I'm here looking for fiddleheads, and there isn't that many yet this year, but we're going to go on a little bit of a nature tour and see if we can find some. I have lifetime permission in this bush, so I guess I'm okay to be here. Okay, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hang tight. I've enlisted my my daughter here. No, that's not going to work, but she's not sure if you could see that, but she's hitting some of the okay, okay go over there some of the uh, bronze. Now, can you see all that brown dust flying? That's actually the spores from the male plants. Pretty cool, eh? That's how the uh, reproduce as well as rhizomes under the ground, but this is a male plant. They have the feathery looking fronds that have the pollen that flies. So anyway, oh look at that one. That one's really awesome. Can you see all the dust flying from that? That's one of the ways that they reproduce and pollinate the female plants. These are dog tooth violets, and they're also called trout lily, um, adder's tongue. They have quite a few names, but uh, I love the spotted leaves on them. They're so pretty and delicate. Just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to park. Get some of these lower ones here. I'm going to leave those two so the plant will regenerate. They're not very big this year. They're only little. They're not as meaty as they usually are. But it's a start. But it's a start. There isn't that many this year, like, they're really tiny, like, really tiny. They're not even worth picking. Probably best in a lot of these areas just to uh, let them rejuvenate. They're just tiny. guys are hidden underneath the leaf litter. Now there's a lovely clump right there. Take 
some of the lower ones. Leave a couple. Beautiful. Now here's an example of somebody raping the bush. Raping all the clumps. Not one left. Okay, one. One. But seriously. That's, that's, that's just disgusting. Well, this one's a very pretty one. Very nice to find that in the bush, eh? Yeah. I don't want to take the, the two bottom ones here. These ones, well, maybe three. These guys are too far up. This is a very lovely clump, too. Oh, looky here, it's another one of them red cup mushrooms. You can't eat them. They sure are weird, eh? They're jelly-like. Really weird. There's some beautiful red trilliums here starting to come up. Nice, always nice to see those. And these fiddleheads have definitely gotten really high. They're like a foot high at least. Can't pick those. They're no good for fiddleheads to eat. There's that little animal's house from last year. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, I guess that's it for today. I got a little bit of... Um, Fiddleheads. I'll show you when I get home what they look like. Stay tuned. Catch up with you later.